What is up, everyone? Uh, so in this week's video, we're gonna be talking about the Canon AE-1. So the Canon AE-1 is a 35 millimeter single lens reflex camera. So uh, everything you see from here, everything you get from the lens is gonna be reflected onto a mirror and uh, reflected onto your um, eyepiece. So what you see through there is really what you're gonna get in the negative. It was first released in Japan in 1976, uh, all the way to like 1984 um, with the Canon AE-1s. That was when these ones were being made. After that, it was the Canon AE-1 program. But um, yeah, these were first released back in the 1970s, late 1970s, and um, pretty much have been a hit and one of the biggest, most popular film cameras ever since then. So yeah, that's pretty much how this camera works. Whatever you see through your viewfinder is what you're gonna get onto your negative. Um, <clears throat> so what I have on here is the 50 mil 1.8 uh, aperture lens. It goes all the way up to f22. Uh, it also has auto mode. If you can see on here, there is a green auto mode for um, aperture priority. Uh, so that means you can turn this on and um, you can look through the viewfinder, select whatever shutter speed that you want, look through and it'll say f2. Uh, so it means it's going to shoot at f2.0. Um, <clears throat> So that's the aperture priority on it. I usually don't use it. Um, I like to set my own aperture and select your own shutter speed. So by doing that, you can look through the viewfinder and select whatever aperture shutter speed you want. And if you line it up with the middle of the little needle on the right at F or at 5.6, uh, your <clears throat> image is gonna be pretty much perfectly exposed um, in my experience shooting with this camera, everything that I have shot at the uh, 5.6 mark um, has been perfectly exposed. So right here is your shutter speed ring right here. It goes all the way up to 1 1,000th of a second. Um, this is where you would control your shutter speed. Uh, it goes all the way down to 2 seconds. So pretty much, and then over here, you have your ISO ring right here. Uh, so this is where you would change your ISO to whatever your film speed is going to be. So you would change it 200, 400, change your ISO all the way through. Uh, and then this is where you have your aperture ring. It goes 1.8 on this one all the way to 22. And then this is where you have your auto mode right here. You would pull your film all the way over into this spool, crank it all the way until you hit, if you guys can see that, if you get one, then you are good to start shooting. Yeah, and the images that come out of this thing, um, if you get some really good scans, like some high definition scans, man, these, the, the images that come out of these negatives are freaking, are crystal clear. Um, as you can see, some of these that I shot, I haven't really been able to shoot a lot lately, but some of these that you're seeing right now um, were with the 1.8 lens, and um, they're just they're super sharp, super, super sharp. Um, for a 35 millimeter camera, like these things are, these photos are just super clear. Uh, awesome camera, pretty lightweight, compared to like a medium format camera. I mean, you can carry this thing around anywhere with you. And uh, I think that, I just think this is a type of camera that everyone should have if you're gonna be getting into film photography, for sure. So yeah, if you wanna get into film photography, Canon 8 u one highly, highly recommend this camera. That's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope this gives you a little bit of uh, background and helps you choose on a 35 millimeter film camera. Um, yeah, just get out there and start shooting with it. Uh, it's an, uh, it's an, uh, a blast. Um, if you guys need help with the lab, I use the dark room. They're out of San Clemente. I live in California, so dark room. You send your film in. It's an awesome, awesome uh, place to go put your film in, and uh, they do a great job with the scans. All these were scanned from the dark room. So, oh, one more thing. 
If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be posting a lot more stuff very, very soon. All right. See you guys next time. Peace.